What's going on guys? Welcome to the video and today I'm going to be taking you guys through a full day of eating 12 weeks into my current diet. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. As you guys have probably seen, I start off my day every morning with a glass of warm lemon water and that's mainly to do with the warm water helps absorb the vitamins faster, the vitamins and minerals faster from the lemon and the lemon juice is just really good for lots of things that help support metabolism, it's good for digestion, it's good for your skin, it's got loads of benefits to it. So I start every morning with a glass of warm lemon water. So the second drink that I will have in the morning is I will have a scoop of greens powder with a glass of water and this is just to make sure I hit my micronutrient values for the day even though right now on this diet I'm eating vegetables like a friggin rabbit but regardless just to get make sure I get all the greens in we have a scoop of ghost greens right here. So the third and final drink I will have in the morning before I get breakfast ready is an iced coffee and pretty much I just make a regular coffee, add a bit of almond milk and then some maple stevia drops just to flavor it. And this just gives me a little bit of a caffeine kick in the morning and this is also what I have for my caffeine source pre-workout most of the days and then during my workout I'll just drink like a pump product and like some non-stim oxy shred just so I'm not having too much caffeine in the day. So now that we got all of our drinks out of the way, it's time to finally get some breakfast prepared. Light me up, don't you stop, cause tonight it's on the line. Show me how you get on down, close my eyes, take me for a ride. meal of the day here we have 200 milliliters of egg whites with some spinach peppers mushrooms tomatoes and onions in there we have 30 grams of low-fat cheese two slices of turkey bacon and all of that is on top of four tomato basil rice cakes so as of recent since you guys have watched the last full day of eating that I did quite a few weeks ago I changed my diet up quite a bit uh, first reason of that is due to the gyms reopening here. Training at 5, 6 p.m. just wasn't realistic anymore, so I needed to add some carbs to my first meal to be able to go train. So this is technically my pre-workout meal now, so I eat this and then I go train. So it's got about 40 grams of carbs in here, so it's just perfect to be able to fuel me to train because training that late in the day just wasn't feasible anymore. The second reason is throughout my entire prep I was tracking all my macros and I knew what my macros were and that kind of thing. The thing that I didn't notice though was how significantly high my sodium intake is. My sodium intake was somewhere between the six to 7,000 milligrams of sodium a day range which is three times more than the average person is supposed to have. So I was having way too much sodium, water retention, bloating so much like that so since then i have modified my diet and cut my sodium in half to right around like the 3200 milligram mark and for me that's perfect because i sweat enough i drink enough water that 3200 milligrams isn't going to hurt me speaking of water my water intake for the day right now i'm aiming for somewhere between five to six liters of water per day so that's about three of these and generally i'll have I'll drink two liters before I work out, two liters during my workout, and then I'll have the remaining two liters later in the evening. So that's been going good lately. 
But yeah, so I'm going to dig into this and then we're going to go hit a workout and I will see you guys for the post-workout meal. I'm so damn tall sometimes it's hard to get this so you guys can see everything. But nevertheless, we are about to make meal number two, which is the post-workout meal. And essentially I'm still having like that protein style kind of like ice cream concoction that I showed you guys a couple of videos ago. So I'm gonna make that. The only difference is now I'm actually, it's gonna sound really weird, but uh, now I am shredding up a zucchini into it just to add some more volume because that's the point we're at where we are at the poverty level of calories point where I need to grate zucchini into my smoothie. So we're gonna whip that up. I'll show you guys how to make it just in case you guys didn't watch that video, but I will also link that video in the description below. So we're gonna use 200 grams of berries of your choice. I'm using pineapple and strawberry. Next, we've just gone and added a ton of ice for some volume. So next, we're going to grate this entire zucchini into the blender. This seems quite odd, but zucchini doesn't really have a taste, so it's just good to add some volume and like no calories. And if you guys watched any of my full days of eating last year, you know that this isn't the weirdest thing I've done with zucchini. I actually used to grate up zucchini into my oatmeal in the morning to give me a little extra volume. <laughs> so this isn't my first rodeo with zucchini. Ooh, that doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound right, it's not what I meant. So then go ahead and put 30 grams of your choice of protein in. Today I'm going to be using the coconut ice cream protein by Ghost. And finally, we're gonna add 200 milliliters of almond milk just so it's not like too thick, but also not like too runny, you know? Now, we'll just take this and blend it for a couple minutes. So guys, this is going to be meal number two, my protein ice cream, big old bowl of it. So I'm gonna sit down and enjoy my big bowl of ice pretty much, you know, with a little bit of fruit in there and then we're probably gonna go take the dog for a W-A-L-K. He knows the word, but he can't spell it. So we're gonna eat this, and then I'll see you guys at meal number three. All right, guys, so here we have meal number three, and for meal number three, we got a handful of cooked asparagus, about 150 grams of cauliflower rice, and one can of tuna with just some sweet and hot mustard over the top. So nothing super exciting, but uh, these days, that's all I really eat. So yeah, I will check in with you guys at meal number four. All right guys, for meal number four today, we got the iconic cheeseburger salad. So what we got is a bag of salad, some cucumbers, pickles, cherry tomatoes, about half of an avocado, 100 grams of extra lean ground turkey, and then some ketchup and mustard over top to make it feel like a cheeseburger, you know? If I tell myself that enough, maybe I'll actually believe it. But I'm gonna chow down on this. It's a pretty big bowl, so it should keep me full for quite a while, and then I will see you guys for meal number five, the pre-bed meal. All right guys, this is going to be the fifth and final meal of the day. Here we have 250 grams of plain Greek yogurt that I flavored with some maple stevie, what, maple stevie? <laughs> maple stevia flavor drops. We then have 50 grams of blackberries and 15 grams of pecans. Generally, I have sliced almonds instead, but I ran out of almonds, so we're just making do with pecans today. I was having, if you guys watched the last full day of eating, I was having cottage cheese. The reason I've swapped that out is because the cottage cheese and like a cup of cottage cheese, it's like, 800 milligrams of sodium, which is absolutely insane to me. So Greek yogurt still has lots of protein and way less sodium. So we got that. And then we still got the one bag of Smart Pop low fat popcorn. 
So I will throw up the final macros for the entire day right there. I know they're not super high macros right now. This is what it looks like 12 weeks into my diet. I'm not telling you guys, I'm not suggesting that you guys eat like this, follow my plan. I'm on significantly low calories right now in order to drop those last couple pounds of fat. And I'm only doing this for about another one to two weeks. So unless you have to go down to this low, like for competition body lean that I was trying to go for, then I would not suggest going this low in calories because your hormones get messed up. But nevertheless, I hope you guys enjoyed that insight into what I'm eating 12 weeks into my diet. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like on the video. Subscribe down below if you guys haven't already. And with that out of the way, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.